And now at 530, the community of Whitestown says one good thing came out of that destructive tornado that swept through Boone County yesterday, destroying this barn. The town realized sooner rather than later they are not fully prepared and changes need to be made. It brings us to a proposal on the table for next month's town council meeting. RTV6's Ann Kelly in Whitestown with a closer look. As soon as a funnel cloud was spotted yesterday afternoon, the two tornado sirens in Whitestown were set off. With a three and a half mile sound radius for each siren, everyone here should have heard them, but it's become clear that wasn't the case. From one neighborhood... I didn't hear anything. There was no sirens here at all, and it really upset me. ...to the next... If you were to look at a map, technically we should be covered by that siren. It's just not making it over here. Residents, including town councilor Kevin Russell, saying the sirens, whether because of excess highway noise or the wind, didn't do their job. Uh, some people were able to hear it. It's the acoustics and the way the, the sound waves will bounce because the, the siren is so far away. It's a problem the city has determined has an easy solution. This town simply needs more tornado sirens like this one along Whitestown Parkway. At least three more in order to ensure that everyone who lives here knows when a tornado is coming. Yes, most of us get phone alerts when a tornado like this heads our way or have the TV on to warn us, but town manager Dax Norton says sirens are still critical, especially for those who aren't as connected. They're a piece to the puzzle of the alert system, and they're still a very necessary piece of that puzzle. The town council is now scheduled to vote on those new sirens at their next meeting on May 11th. The plan would cost roughly $110,000, money that Norton says is well worth it. The benefit of, of public safety and peace of mind it, it well outweighs the cost. Reporting in Boone County, Ann Kelly, RTV6.